What's up, people? Now, I was actually asked by a friend because I got a lot of stories, but I was actually asked to share this story, you know, make a video on this story. And, you know, basically we all have stories from our own personal experiences. Sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's sad, sometimes it's just random, and then it's like awkward and weird. Well, before I start my story, you know, the story that I was, you know, asked to do, can anybody tell me whether you're a hardcore gamer or a regular gamer or whatever? The game Oblivion, what year and what date did it come out? Because I know it came out a couple years ago, but I don't know how far back we're talking about, you know, in year. Well, anyway, it was around the time when Oblivion had just got released. It was for, I think it's a PS, it was a PC game be before it became a console game, or it might have been both, I don't know, but. It was two weeks after the game Oblivion became released. And I was on my way to the postal office because I had to mail a package. Now, from my house to the postal office, it's a good walking distance, like a good exercise, but it's not really far. So, on my way to the postal office, now there's the street corner. There was this guy, you know, turning to the corner. He was walking as well. Now, obviously, you know, for those of you that never walked on sidewalk before, you tend to cross paths with people going different direction. But I'm just, you know, I'm just throwing that out there. I don't, you know, I don't know you, but, you know, I'm just, I just thought I'd let you know. But anyway, we're walking on a sidewalk, and obviously we we're going to cross paths. Then all of a sudden this guy just stopped right in front of me like he jumped in front of me and go. Dude, Oblivion's a good game. You better go get it, man. It's awesome. I, I can tell you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it, man. Dude, you gotta go to the store and buy it right now. It's out right now. It just got released like a couple while ago, man. It's a fun game. You'll like it, man. I, oh, it's all so awesome. You have no idea. Come on, dude. You gotta go. I mean, drop. Just, what are you doing? Just standing there, man. Go, go get it. Go get your copy, man. It's a fun game, man. You'll love it. I can tell. Just get the game Oblivion. Remember, don't forget. It's called Oblivion. And then he walked away. Like nothing happened. That was so random and awkward. I mean, I, all right. First of all, let me explain something. I'm not the right person to scare, and I got a lot of friends that can testify to this because when you try to scare me, I don't get scared. I react. What that mean is, you know. My fist tend to fly or my foot tend to move. It just, some, a part of me moves so fast. It just happens instinctively before I even think about what's going to happen. And the person that's doing the scaring always end up either getting hurt or is on the floor. So, I'm not that type of person to, you know, easily get scared. So, yeah, again, I got friends to testify to it. It's, it's not a laughing matter. It's funny. Afterward, you know, when, you know, other people witnessing, like, dude, you, he just knocked your butt out, but it's, yeah, yeah I, that's not a smart tactic. But the guy didn't really scare me. He just alerted me enough to give him attention, and it was just like, it was so random and awkward that when he was walking away, I couldn't help but look at him and go, wow. Crack one hell of a drug. But the way he advertised Oblivion, it was like, it was very effective because it actually made me, you know, after I dropped my package off to the postal office, it actually made me stop by Target and, you know, at least check out the game Oblivion. Now, it didn't affect me 100% to purchase the game because at the time I didn't have any money to do that. And also, I was only checking it out. And to this day, I still do have not played nor own Oblivion. But I have, you know, heard a lot about it from through friends and through, you know, people. I even there's videos on YouTube about that game. So pretty much, I can honestly say I don't really have a reason to play it. But yeah, I don't own it. But you know, I mean, I understand sometimes game makers or 
people that are trying to push sales on products or merchandise or merch well another way of saying merchandise or product in the sales world is called merch so there now you know what merch stand for but it's it just I mean I understand they'll go out their way to go to the public or talk to some people at random you know talk to them about their product or their game or whatever to try to advertise the thing they're trying to sell to people to make them go oh that's interesting okay I'll go ahead and get it but if I don't think that guy was working for the company that was make that made the oblivion game because you know even though it caught my attention I wouldn't say that was you know I wouldn't recommend that being the most effective way to sell a product because like I said I'm not the right person to scare and plus I don't recommend anybody doing that because you don't know who the person you're talking to either don't have a gun, knife, or would just straight, you know, react as bad as I do. So, definitely wouldn't re recommend doing that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it did have me go and check it out, though. So, that's the funny thing that I actually went out and looked. But, other than that, um... How about you guys? Have you guys ever had an incident like that or any funny, awkward moment where it was like the person did something so awkward and random where you're like, huh? But they still managed to get their point across to the point where you had to check it out, you know, check out what they were talking about or, you know, it formed some sort of small interest. Oh, also, has anybody seen the show, the anime show I don't know if it's a series or a movie but the anime called Gunbuster cuz I don't know who that figure is supposed to represent I don't know who she is and also I have not seen Gunbuster so could anybody tell me if it's good but other than that yeah let me know what type of awkward random story y'all got that where the person still manages to get their point across to, to build interest to make you check it out Alright then, later.